Hi gang! One thing I get asked for is to do some Van de Graaff generator demonstrations, and to explain how they work, too. So here's the inside scoop. The thing that all these demonstrations have in common is that they interact with the top dome. So let's see what's going on there first. The top dome of a Van de Graaff generator is either positively charged or negatively charged. That means it either has more protons and electrons, making it positively charged, or more electrons and protons, making it negatively charged. A key point is that it's kept that way. If we add some electrons to a positive dome, by arcing to it for example, that makes it less positive. But those electrons are quickly pulled away from the dome, and the dome is back to being positive again. The same is true if we were taking electrons from a negative dome. New electrons are quickly put back on it to make it negative again. There's an endless supply of charge, and it's constantly being replenished. Now on with the demonstrations. I'll start with this well-known hair-raising demonstration. Now my hair isn't long enough for it, so I'm going to put on this collection, or crown, of strings on my head instead. Start with the Van de Graaff generator turned off, and not charged up. That's so that you don't get a shock when you first touch it. Next, stand on an electrically insulating platform. I'm wearing rubber-soled sneakers with the laces tucked away, so they don't touch the ground. That's good enough. Next, put your hand on the dome. Then, turn on the Van de Graaff generator. Your hair should now raise up. Give your head a shake to help separate the strands of hair. When done, you can remove your hand, as long as you're still insulated from the ground. I discharge myself by touching a wire connected to the ground, getting a small shock. I then turn the Van de Graaff generator off, still keeping myself away from it in case of a shock. Then I bring the end of the ground wire near the dome and touch it. It's now safe. So how does this work? Your skin is not a great electrical conductor, but it does conduct some electricity. Since you're touching the dome, you're basically a part of it. If the dome is positively charged, then you become positively charged. Electrons are taken away from you and your hair by the Van de Graaff generator. That means your hair now has more protons and electrons. It's positively charged. The important principle that makes your hair rise is that like charges repel each other. So each positively charged strand of hair repels each other positively charged strand of hair. They try to repel as far away from each other as they can. But a clump of hair stuck together can act as one. Shaking your hair separates the strands, so that they can act individually and repel each other. In this demonstration, a stack of metal pie plates fly off one by one. How does that work? Well, the outer surface of the stack become charged, not all parts of the plates at once. That's all the visible surface of the top plate, and the visible edges of all the other plates. That's due to the Faraday cage, or Faraday ice pail effect. Notice that just as with the hair, the plates are charged the same as a dome positive in this case. Only the top plate is free to move, since it's on top, and the edges of the top plate and the plate below it repel each other. Remember, like charges repel. As the first one rises, the newly exposed surface of the second one becomes charged too, and repels the top plate more strongly. The top plate is repelled away. Anyway, now we have a new top plate and the whole process repeats. This demonstration consists of my crown of strings in direct contact with the top of the Van de Graaff. When the Van de Graaff is turned on, the strings rise and separate, just as your hair did, for the very same reasons. Here a bunch of strands of toilet paper are taped to the dome instead. You don't need a big Van de Graaff generator to do demonstrations like this. Here's a small homemade one. These cans have paint on them. Since this Van de Graaff is weak, it's best if you first sand off the paint, wherever your demonstration objects will touch it. Here grains of rice become charged, and are repelled off. That's because they become charged with the same charge as the can, and as each other. And once again, since light charges repel, they repel from the can, and each other. And here strips of toilet paper rise up. And in this one, I'm making my homemade Van de Graaff generator run my homemade Franklin's Bell. But I have separate videos all about Franklin's Bell, so I won't say more here. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more Van de Graaff generator videos. That includes parts 1 and 2 of how to make your own Van de Graaff generator from things from around the house. A very detailed one on how Van de Graaff generator works. A little fun experimenting with Van de Graaffs and Faraday cages. And one showing more about the homemade Franklin's Bell. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.